Have you ever wondered how gravity works in games? In the real world, gravity pulls us down, but in video games, gravity can work in all sorts of weird ways, and the differences can be extreme. Just take a look at this Red Dead 2 parkour and compare that to Titanfall 2. Games almost never follow the rules of the real world, and they aren't trying to. Because of this, you can have a game with low gravity, a game with super strong gravity, and just about everything in between. Some games allow you to change direction mid-jump, and other games don't allow you to jump at all. What I find mind-blowing about all of this is that it's something you never think about. I'm never conscious of the gravity in any of the games I play. Most games also set a maximum velocity. In Portal 2, to remove the very real possibility of infinite acceleration, portals actually slow down objects and the player as they pass through them. Games are full of this kind of thing. And we haven't even mentioned wall running, rocket jumping, and a whole host of other physics-based trickery. So, 